Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in this video today, we'll be reviewing the all power 100 watt solar panel here. And I'm going to give you guys my honest feedback about the panel, give you guys a few tips and pointers along the way in case you're using this with the all power portable power station like that. And maybe give you guys some insights on some apps that you can use. We're going to go from start to finish, we're going to set it up. And I'm gonna show you if this panel can actually put out the 100 watts that's stated here. So definitely stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we got the 100 watt panel here from All Power and we got the All Power R600 here. Both of these are gonna be really affordable units. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up here. I have tried this out in my house, in the living room, just to see how everything worked together. So it was actually pretty simple. But I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I have to do on my side so you guys get a better idea when you're doing it. If this is a solar panel that can be easily set up and this is something you should consider buying if it puts out the stated wattage from the panel. So first thing, let's talk about size here. So this is definitely a portable size here. Very, very light, you can see that. There we go. Is it heavy? Yeah. Let's see, it's like okay, carrying a pizza. It's like a carrying a piece of grab it by the handle. Is it heavy? Can you do a bicep curl with it? It's not heavy. It's not. Yeah. It came nicely packaged up and what I love about it is actually these legs. So I don't have to find something to rest this on and the legs can be adjusted. And in the back over here, we have a storage compartment. So let me show you guys what's in the storage compartment. We have the MC4 connectors. So you're gonna need these in conjunction with cable that came in the R600. You can actually buy these anywhere. These are just MC4 connectors. So I'll leave you guys a link. So these are gonna plug in to that side and then it's gonna plug in on this side right here. And it could only go in one way. Then I'm gonna connect these and these together. And also it comes with some extras right here. We got another MC4 to, it looks like a different connector here. So I forgot the name of this connector right here. And we got MC4 to some barrel connectors here. And here's what is included in here. So it comes with quite a few attachments. And now I can go ahead and zip this up and we're gonna stand it up now. To unfold it, just pull the Velcro, open it up. And it really helps to have the legs facing towards the grass or the ground. So I'm gonna give this a big old turn in the air. Legs are deployed. I have the unit up, you can see without any kind of optimizing or anything right now. The unit is putting out 86 or 85 watts of power. So let me go and use that application now. Go and optimize the direction and tilt of this panel. And the sun is in this direction right here. So we actually need to have the panels faced in this direction. So to readjust it with the tilt at 38 degrees, I can't actually get this any more flat because on the bottom here, there's gonna be these Velcro stretchy cables and I cannot find an adjustment. So maybe I need to rethink this. You essentially wanna have this between 31 and 39, and I'm currently at 39, so the panel is actually reading here. So we're showing 57 watts. Now what we have to keep in mind is that the unit might not let the battery charge up anymore since we're pretty near 100%. So the panel might be doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So now I have to go ahead and put a load on here to see if that's gonna make a little bit of a difference as far as getting closer to that 100 watts of input. And just removing the phone from the panel because it was creating a little area of shading right there jumped it up to 74 watts power coming in now and again it's pretty clear sky and let's put this unit under a load so the solar panels might be putting out 100 watts of power but we're not going to really know because my unit is all the way charged so i want to show you guys this you guys look it's got zero it's of power coming in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and discharge the battery a little bit by putting a load on here and then we'll go ahead and take another look at it to see what happens so i got my laptop with me and we're gonna go plug this in. So I put about a 100 watt load on here. So we got 100 watts going out. And if you guys read the screen, this is fluctuating, no shading, 73. So it's a little bit later in the day. That might be the reason if you could see that. But the highest number I've seen today was gonna be 86 when I first started. I even adjusted the panels from that direction to this direction. Had to get some helpers. So far, it looks like gonna be able to get into the high 80s but I have not seen the 100. I might try this another day. This is gonna be the all power 100 watt unit. Easy to set up. I just wish it had a little bit more tilt because I don't think I have the optimum tilt for this right now, but it is portable, works good, and I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Check the video links down below if I did measure better results on a different day. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'll have special pricing available for it in the link down below. And if you guys wanna check out the review for the all power 
R600. I'll have a link to that as well. And if you guys have the 200 or 400 watt solar panels and you just can't get the charging out of it, make sure you're using the app and you change the charge mode. So that is an option on the app. You can go through and adjust that. And I want to give a special thanks to these guys for helping out with the video. All power. All power. Like and subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching the video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And I'll leave you guys a few links at the end of the video. Make it a great day. Thanks.